And well, hello and welcome to episode 12, part 2, one for all or all for one. I'm in my car again, considering I couldn't record anywhere else. But last we left off, we're still alive. What? How did you... With the trap card Pocket Recovery, I'm able to special summon one pocket monster from my graveyard and gain life points equal to its original attack. So I brought back Cursed Wanderer to gain life points equal to half its original. Why only half? <laughs> Fine. I suppose there's nothing else I can do from here. So we had enough life points to survive. It's my turn. I draw! Mm -hmm. And for starters, I'll be activating the monster effect Pocket Storm Owl from my hand. If there are no other cards in my hand and a pocket monster in my graveyard, I can discard this card to draw three new cards. That's powerful. Now, from my hand, I'm playing the XP card Pocket Evolution. Look, Curse Wanderer isn't a normal monster. Gemini. True, but there's just one That's thing a mistake everyone makes. Missing about this whole thing. Curse Wanderer is a Gemini monster. Gemini monsters count as normal monsters whilst they're on the field. That means you can evolution Correct. summon. Correct. Now, I use Pocket Curse Wanderer to expand the DNA strand. Gemini Evolution Summon! Come forth! Pocket Curse Reaper! It's like Absol. It's a nice Go, card, Curse though. Reaper! Attack his monster and end this duel! Not so fast. I activate the Wabaku Trap Don't. Card. With this, one for all cannot be destroyed this turn, and I take no damage. <sighs> well, whatever is up next, it's probably gonna be something big. No matter. I set two cards in my hand face down and end my attack turn. Points, though. That's quite the beefer. That's it. Now I'm starting to really get bugged by you. But I haven't played any insect monsters yet. Once I end this duel, the fusions are next. It's my move. I draw! Now I... What? Wait a minute, this isn't my DS. Hell? Tobia, are you okay? Solaris Phase 1. <laughs> As I was saying, uh -oh. I play the spell card. Rank up magic. Baryon oh, Force! Oh shit. He is an Xyzian. With this spell card, I can take one for all and rank him up by one rank into an even more perfect monster. Now go! Baryon, Xyz, Evolution, come forth! Rank 5, Chaos Xyz, all for one dragon! Uh -oh. Well, this is new. No duh. And I know what Hi, you're Cthulhu. thinking. Hi Cthulhu. But Topia, your monster has zero attack Effect. points. Effect. Well, I'm afraid attack points aren't Oops. everything. I've been with I mic. play all for one special ability. By using up an overlay unit, this monster can drain all of your monster's attack to zero. Uh -oh. Ooh. <laughs> and then all for one gains double that loss. Double permanent. Permanent. Of course, your monster's effect would also be negated, but since evolution monsters have skills and not effects, all for one can't get rid of it. But oh well, it already has enough attack points to drain the rest of your pathetic life points. Now go, all for one. Attack and destroy Cursed Reaper. Only one. Pretty badass ah. attack, man. Short, sweet, and to the point. <laughs> and finishing you off is only going to be the beginning. Once I'm done with you, I'll rid this world of both Fusions and Exceeds. I'll become what if I those hate. Foolish idiots don't stop fighting. I'll make sure they do. I'll rid both dimensions, not just of Fusions, you but become Exceeds what you hate. as well. And then I won't stop until every other duelist knows my name as the Unstoppable, the Chosen. And David talk with the <laughs> from this tournament. <laughs> I'm not dead yet. <laughs> what? No! This can't be! Not quite. I activated Cursed Reaper's special ability. 
By banishing one XP card from the graveyard, I can target one pocket monster I control, in this case, Curse Reaper, and by doing so, when that monster is destroyed, I take no battle damage. Mm. Also, I get to destroy one card on your field. But since the only monster is all for one there, and it can't be destroyed, can't be destroyed by card effects. I don't. At some point, I just wanted to be a card that says, "If this card cannot be destroyed by card effects." No, this was my victory. You were supposed to be destroyed. It's getting there. I end my turn. Draw your last card. Toby has become what he hates. <sighs> All right, that does it. You know what? Toby I'm ending your life. Welcome to the end of I your life. Of and I promise it's going to hurt. Say that again. The reason why your dojo sensei even gave you that one for all dragon is because he believed in you. Because he believed that you could use it for great things. But here you are starting another war. How would you know what that old fool would want? How would I know? Because your buddy Ace told me. He told me everything. Everything you've been through. And true, it's sad. But that's no excuse to start another war. Ace told me the reason why he gave you that one for all dragon is because your sensei believed that you could do great things with it. Because he chose you to do it. Because he thought you were worthy enough to wield it. And honestly, I didn't believe it. Well, believe him. He chose me to rid all dimensions of fusionists. And I won't rest until my goal is accomplished. Then you're not worthy. You claim that you want to make a great future for all Exesians, but right now you just contradicted yourself. So how can you really? They can't Let's... be in a bad world if they're all dead. He's right. Yeah, if Topia wants to make a positive future for us all, then how come he said he'd just destroy both Fusians and Exesians? What? No! Don't you realize? He's the enemy! He's the one standing in the way of our You're the cause. one that literally said, I will kill you all. Yeah, Hugo here has been on our side since day one. You won't get away with this. I'm worthy. I'm chosen. You're delusional. I'm the one who will never forgive the fusionists. I will exterminate them. And it's that very reason why you'll never be ready for this kind of power. My turn. I draw! Now, from my field, I'll activate two trap cards. First, I'll activate the trap card Evolution Reborn. This trap card lets me bring one evolution monster from my graveyard back to the field. I'm bringing back the evolution monster Pocket High Hey, Pool. buddy. No attack. Course, his skills are negated, and his attack points are reduced to zero, but that's fine hmm. by me. Next, I'll be activating the trap card Ojama Trio. With this trap card, I'm allowed to spawn three Ojama Links don't tokens exist yet, so don't forget that. What's the point of these useless tokens? I'll show you the point of them, so I can activate the XP card Evolutionary Sacrifice. What? With this XP card in play, I can send Pocket High Fool from my field to the graveyard to summon an even stronger monster. I expand the DNA strand even further. I ultimate Evolution Summon. Come forth, pocket assault wolf. Uh oh. Impressive, but your monster is not With my theme blaring in the background, you stand no chance. I activate assault wolf's special ability by banishing one XP card from the graveyard. It can gain one thousand attack points for every monster you. That's control. why. Wait, what? Oh yeah, and I forgot to mention, pocket evolution counts as an XP card whilst it's in the graveyard, which I use to banish to activate assault wolf's effect. Which means evolutionary sacrifice is still in my graveyard, and by banishing itself, I can double this monster's attack points. GG. What? Fourteen thousand. And your chaos points. exceeds only has no. seventy eight hundred. No. This can't be. You can't do I this. I just did. It's my destiny to rid this world. <sighs> this duel is over. Well, then Sophia. I changed destiny. I'm this right now. Pocket assault wolf. Attack all for one dragon. No. No! Alpha Rage Knuckle! Oh no! All for none. That's game.
incredible. Topia's down. It looks like this Exesian has gone as far as he can in the tournament. And now he's going to be the one to get freaking oh. expelled and all that jazz. What happened? Oh. Oh. Do you want to know what, Topia? I really hate war. It's just so pointless. At first, I America would be very offended by this. Dimension did this it's the only thing home. we're good at. Now I think it's just despicable that you're trying to continue it. What are you... A thug like yourself does not even deserve to become a duelist, let alone wield that card. Later. Something's up, Topia. Think one for all, sick of his shit. Ace? You're alright? I No, I died. What do you think? Topia. I've heard enough. What are you saying? I'm breaking up with you. I heard everything about your little speech out there. I thought you really still cared about us, but ever since you got one for all all you've been focused around is getting rid of fusions. Well, they're not the problem. You are. Hey, Sight. Just save it, Topia. I don't even know who you are anymore. I'm Topia! Ace. Ace! Nice one, Einstein. You lost all that you cared about. Hmm. Hue of the D. What was the most disappointing thing about Yu-Gi-Oh! Sexo for you? A lot of fucking shit. The fact that it existed. <laughs> no, my most disappointing thing about Yu-Gi-Oh! Zexo is that it was essentially the first series again, but this time we made Yami an alien. Completely different. Uh, the sad thing is, is that Yu-Gi-Oh! is essentially in ring theory. We had, I lost my memory, we go to school, and now some sort of, of dueling on some weird device thingy. Then, and then we start Zexo again, and where I have, I lost my memory. Dual Academies in Arc 5, granted it was in Arc 5Ds as well, but this time it's really the f center point. And now we're riding on, on crazy things to duel on. If we get Amnesia for Arc for Yu-Gi-Oh 7, it's fucking official. We're in Ring Theory like Star Wars. Oh yeah, yeah. Oh, what are you gonna do? See ya.